hi makusas welcome back to my channel once again i'm so thankful and grateful for you always visiting my channel always watching my video may god bless y'all this is the second part of the video uh, the first one was on how to gut sea bream fish and this is just a continuation because if i had to post the whole video guys it was gonna be so long and i really don't want to waste your time that's why i had to cut it in two parts so today i'm just gonna continue where i stopped last time actually i was cooking for my father so i thought let me make a video and show you how i uh, do all of those things so um, we all know that all people have a diet they've got different diets they don't eat this they don't eat that because of this because of that so this is just um, something quick for my pops i hope you really enjoy it but you can add other flavors to your taste so this is my sea breams nicely gutted and clean I'm just gonna season them with some uh, garlic and ginger and fish spice. I'm not gonna use too much ingredient because I wanna keep it simple, but you are allowed to use whatever you wanna use. I'm gonna let it rest for an hour and from there we're going to fry it. Guys, I've got a trick for you or astuce uh, as we call it on how to prevent oil splashing around while frying your fish now ladies 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 this is for you yeah. i know men also do cook sometimes but yeah i mean as we men we cook most of the time stand may as we all know that when frying fish you get oil splashing all over your stove uh, burning your arms splashing on your body even your face <laughs> ladies who can relate to that so today i'm just going to show you what i do i'm going to use a baking sheet or parchment paper i think you can get it from any shops i'm just going to make sure that it's well positioned i'm going to pour my oil now and wait for my oil to heat and we're good to go ladies i'm telling you it's the easiest way no splashing around no more messy stove no more burning hands yeah please try it and let me know in english it's baking sheet uh in french we call it papier sulfur <laughs> papier sulfurisé guys if i'm not mistaken <laughs> Yeah, sulfurisé, yes. Yeah, uh, you can just go on Google and um, yeah, find out about the paper that I'm using now. When I found out this trick, I was like, wow, you know? I have been using it for some time now and it's really a lifesaver. I hope you like it and try it at your kitchen. I don't know if I should say this, but let me just say it for the sake of helping someone out there. For you to know the doneness of the fish, it's when the fish steaks pulls apart. That when uh, you can remove it from the frying oil.
this is my brain gel it has been oxidized because i grated it uh, i think a few minutes earlier i'm just gonna saute it quickly until soft i'm gonna add my onion yes as you can see on this stage if you want to add uh, some red peppers green pepper anything of your choice please you are allowed to do so this one i just want to keep it simple because of my pops To my first timer or my visitors, thank you so much for stopping by and you are so so welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. I'm gonna squeeze some lemon juice to get that tangy taste. I'm done with the sauce, I'm just gonna pour onto my fish, add some hot water. This is how to stir your pot when cooking fish. This is how you do it. I'm gonna push all the ingredients that I just fry now all over the pot so that it gets to mix nicely with the water that I just pour now. Ay, 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 this was beautiful it was so delicious not too much ingredients i kept it simple but yet it was oh mouth watering and my father enjoyed it with some uh bread and plantain it was very very delicious
thank you so much for watching it's always a pleasure to have you visiting my channel if you haven't subscribed please do don't forget to push the bell notification so that you don't miss any uploaded video please don't forget to share and like and drop a comment below for me until we meet next time it's a goodbye for now thank you and god bless